DSpace Community Technologist Sean Kelly here. I'm here today to give you a quick demonstration on how to use mouse emulation on our Toby Armabil Tech Kit. Mouse emulation is exactly as the name describes. By locking the mouse cursor to your eyes, the Toby iMobile allows you to directly control a mouse cursor that is capable of all the functions of a normal mouse. This includes left click, right click, double click, scroll, drag and drop, zoom, and more. I will narrate my actions to further explain this process. Okay, to begin, I will unpause mouse emulation by locking my eyes onto the pause button. The Toby will now actively track my eyes as I change my mouse cursor options in the overlay menu. Firstly, I will change the button on my virtual mouse and then assign different functions to that button. As you can see, I have just changed between left click and right click and back again. Now I can begin selecting between the different functions. The cursor function allows you to hover your mouse cursor around the screen for limited interaction. The no cursor function allows you to look around the screen without interacting with anything. Great for reading. The single click and double click functions do as the names imply and click on any object or area I hold my gaze upon. And the drag and drop function allows you to grab and move an object or select the body of text. Now that I have scrolled through those options, I will reselect double click and look over at Google Chrome. This will bring up the ThuSpace website. Now in the left hand corner of the overlay menu is the magnification option. I will now magnify an area of the screen. As I had the double click function selected, it will perform a double click at the end of the magnification and select the word free. I will now change to single click and gaze on another area of the screen. Just like a normal mouse, this performs a single click and deselects the word free. At this point, I can gaze around and then take my gaze up to the exit icon in Google Chrome and move on to another task. That completes my demonstration of using mouse emulation. Again, my name is Sean. If you have any questions, feel free to come to the tech desk and ask for me. Otherwise, feel free to go to our website at www.dospace.org.